Okay, YouTubers, good morning. Okay, we are on this BMW F10. All right, we are trying to do some adaptation of the LED lights in the right headlight has been performed. We have it already did the left hand show successful, but I did not capture that one. So we are gonna try to I'm gonna do this, run this process. See if this process here is successful. Let me maximize the screen. I just none does I beam. To address the non the IB med light, reproduce the following vehicle conditions. Switch on ignition pad. Switch light circuit position to low B med light. IB must be switched on. I wonder if you want to read the screen. Setting the IB med light to prevent dazzle with non electronic LED light adjustment aid. Alright. Important. The IB med light must only be adjusted to prevent dazzle in the following case using a non electronic LED light adjuster. In the event of first time customer complaint regarding the IB in dazzle characteristics. In the event of further customer complaint, despite preceding adjustment, with non electronic headlight adjuster, see headlight and blah blah blah. All right, the next step the following procedure started a reference run is performed. The IB med light is switched on by a diagnostic command, headlights are moved to straight ahead position. The adjustment procedure can then be processed. We start the adjustment, click next. All we did now the adjustment procedure can be done and End adjustment procedure with next. Now the adjustment. Now the adjusting procedure can be done. End um, adjustment uh, procedure. Adjust the headlight using a non electric headlight adjusting device or using the headlight device. Ah, Sergio, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Okay, the headlight eye beam on the left is not working? Yeah, on the left. All right. Is the eye beam signal on, on the car now? No, it's off. All right, it's off. But remember, no, um... No, one time in I'm first back. First uh, back. Huh? Uh, no, I was checking with somebody else. Uh, so, so remember this, um, I just brought in from the dealer and nobody programmed it before. Oh, so I didn't program it? No, we didn't, we didn't, because uh, you said you could, uh, was not a problem when you was helping me. Oh, 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 I mean exactly what it is. So, all uh, right. Check. We only decoding. We only decoding, but we never did programming. Oh well, I'm gonna try to do that next. Just wait. Just give me. All right. Just follow that instruction right there in the procedure. Switch on. All right. The ignition is already on. So switch light. Yeah. Switch to position two low beam. Did you do yeah, that? It's on low beam. It's, it's on low beam right now. 
Okay, so we're gonna go next. We wait. No adjustment procedure. And adjustment procedure we next. No, the adjustment procedure can be done. I wonder how long I have to wait here. I don't know. This one it seems confusing. No, the adjust no the adjusting procedure can be done. I said an adjustment procedure with next. No, the adjusting procedure can be done. Man, it's really stupid. Oh boy, I click next. I don't know what. I just dynamic marker light, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, tell him what. Um, uh, Sergio, yeah. the, the, the control modules that you purchased new, the headlights, um, are they having the same part number as those right there? Uh, yeah, just take, use a phone and take a picture of both of them and look, because ISTA D is forcing us to buy control modules with those part number or order number. Did you, the, the control models, the headlights, are they brand new installed on the car? Yeah, the one we put on the left side is brand new, the one on the right side is not. Okay, because... So you, let me, I, I can remove and check the part number and see if both have the same part number. Okay, yeah, wait, just let me click this one. Um,
part numbers are the same. The order numbers are the same. 7440877. I had Easter D selling us shit. You know what I mean? So I want to close out this operation. Let me close this out. Oh boy, let me close it out. I mean, I program. I'm going to try to use this ESIS again and do it again. Let me try and see if I can put. Do a software flash and a CD deploy. Uh, let me see if it's gonna work out right. The persons who fix the laptop for you, for your internet to work with the Ethernet, do you ask them how they fix it? Uh, is they ask aspects to fix it or, or, or the laptops, the man? The laptops that you bring for someone to fix the ethernet and the ethernet together you remember that something wasn't working yeah. did you ask yeah. them how they do it do you ask them how they do it so you can remember how to do it on your own so they, they, they what we did we put a uh, external uh, wi-fi uh, uh, antenna oh you put oh you install a wi-fi antenna okay cool yeah it's the only thing uh, for what I know. okay okay brother Yes. Yeah, coming. Tell him I'm coming. Hello? Which phone are you calling? The old phone? They're on now? Hey, Sergio, let me call you back. Let me go talk to PayPal, okay?
see that? TMS, is it that? that that's it. That, these are the headlights. 41 on address 41 on address 43. Am I correct here? Whoa, shit. I didn't print the control unit tree. One more clan. Damn. Did I not take a picture of this? What? TMS, right? TMS, the headlight is on. Is it the TMS, right? It's the variant, right? Uh, yeah, the TMS 41 and the 42. Okay, this one is okay. This one will be, let me see. I couldn't tell. Read serial number. All right, this one may be the one that needed to be, um, this one need to be updated to uh, with this file here. But this look like the same file. The coding is okay. The bootloader is okay. And the software flash file is okay. It's only this one in blue. One ACE. All right, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, make a calculator tile for this one. Expert mode. Forty one is in it. Oh, yeah, forty one is in it. Forty one is out. I see. Forty one is in it. That's what I need. All right, I almost scared to death. To shit. Oh, 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 I didn't save a salt. Shit, 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 shit. Did I calculate salt? I did not. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't checking here, so I don't know if you did or not. All right, I'm going to start process now. Let me see what played out. So on dependency, TMS 41. Let me see. Let me wait and see if it goes through with a green bar. Wow, six minutes. Oh, it started to fail already. Wow. What happened? Oh, you mean? One ACD said actual. Fucking start to fail, fail, fail. He said, X, I said SVK ISD actual system and installation animal does not much expected. Control description model ID is in. Oh, it's already finished. Not successful. All right. Shit, shit, shit. I have to go back um, here. Stupid me, man. I did not calculate this at all. I didn't calculate that. Shit. I use a different style. I'm gonna try. I don't know why this keep messing around, man. I don't know what is causing it to be failing. Oh man, I hate this. Make software system difficult to write to the car. It's all usual. 16 volts. Test file generator would not save it. Oh, I didn't save it. No me. Twenty 
one minute, okay. Use all their IDs on this week, yeah, to look like that. I'm gonna go down here and look for um, this. All right, these are all block other IDs. If I write, I'm gonna try to write over all of these files over it again. If I try to save this. Calculate tall again. Alright, load over this piece of crap. Whoa, it's not there, it's gone. What a wicked fucking stuff. This wicked piece of shit, man. It's not there anymore, it's gone. The TMS, nothing, nothing showed up there. That showed up there, but if I should match this with a SOL, I just saved a SOL. That is, um, fuck, I don't know. It only have CD deploy. You see that? It, it, it takes away software deploy. You see that? Yeah. But I already did this process last week or something, man. It just, it's not flushing, right? So I can't write a bootloader to this one. It's just that. Fuck. It will be coded. Let me go back here. Let me go confirm more and tell. If we go down, we just can't find it. Uh, where is it? Okay, here's it. Forward one. Okay. All these right here says that um, these are the identical. These are identical to what is on the car. So all of these files maybe, are the maybe the maybe the error for, was for something different, but they they show what did the programming. You understand what I'm saying? No, but programming file is a software flash file. This one SWFL is a flash file. If I click, if I calculate. I can understand. Error, but just talk a little. Talk a little bit slower. I cannot understand what you're saying. I'm trying to pick up. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Repeat what you say, but talk a little bit slower. The software wasn't good? No, no, no. Maybe maybe the laptop just did the programming. Even with the error, but maybe the programming went through. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, it failed transaction list processing for a reason. It, it says that the SVK is a system installation identifier. There, they do not much expect a control unit description model IDs. You know, so... um. 
Uh, let me show you something here, buddy. Um, there's an ordinary difference here. That is that this, that those two green arrows right here at the bottom still show it. There's an ordinary difference. If I go through with this, if I calculate a transaction list with this one, a 1A CD file, this is supposed to be installed in ESA somewhere. Let me see if I find it here. Let me see if I could find it in data folder here. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have that HWEL, but other people likewise don't have it, but they said that it could um calculate. It's not there. That file is not there. That folder is not there. This one right here. So it is looking for this folder on the ESIS and it's not finding it. So what they say we should do is to click order IDs from SVT actual and it will use the actual ID that is already programmed on the car. It's going to use this one. It's going to write over this same file over to it. Order element. I'm just going to write over this other element file to it. Now, if we go here, going to be deeper, and maybe there's a problem, no? we can go here and read SVT actual. We can pick out, we can pick out that one. We can go at the bottom here, this one. I'm looking for certain information. Let me see. Flashing equal true, coding equal true, and active notify equal true. And also this one here, you see your info. Cert enable false, as if dual date, data false, and unsupported SVK version false. Or should I should change this to true. Re re request SVK, SVK system installation identify this one true. I should put false here and put this one true. That's what I should have done. I don't know what effect that will have, but um, <laughs> I want to try something. I don't know. Edit. Yeah, I put that there for a reason, and I can save that. Cause it SVK response true. Request SVK response. Um, you can turn the TMS2 on, on TMS42 and see what that what say there. Uh, uh, go ahead. Say what? Repeat. You can check, uh, check on TMS42 and see if say the same or not. TMS42, okay. True, 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 true. One, two, three, three trues and one false changed. This is what they call the SVK. These things right here. The naming of the file. Okay. These things said HWEL. These are the HWEL and the CAFD, the BTLD, and the SWFL are called process class. The numbers with 00001 ACD is called um, the ID. And this would be the main version of the, the file. And then the subversion would be the next set of zeros. And then the next one here, 010, would be the patch level. So. Can we copy that one and paste that one on the other one? Um, no, we do not. We can't do it. No, it can't be done. No, it cannot be done. No. It is the same file in both. You know, it's the but same. This is different. This, that one is CE ending on CE and the other one is CD. <sighs> and, and when you were trying to do the programming, was requesting you to do this CE, the CD, sorry. Yes, because it's other element, it should be different. But this one here, one A C E. If we go back, the comfort mode, tile calculating. Oh, Ross, it said I changed something here. Um. Yeah, because you changed, you changed no. something. Yes, I click no. I click no. But I still save the file. I click no. I don't re um whatever. All right, this is the actual. Yeah, the new the new software we was uh having in blue was saying C D. Oh, no, sorry, uh, yeah, CD, and on the one original CD, so it's 
so maybe that's the problem. No, let me show you why they no. This one, other element here, it it is different. This one is the left, and this one would be the right. So the others are different. They know it, you know. They set it up a certain way by which, if you um. But, but when you try, when you was trying to to do the uh, programming, was so when you design of the what you do. Let me show you something. Look, uh, re re keep in mind that thing right here. One AC. Let me see what file it comes up with. It's, it's going to come with a new one with CD. You will see now. All right, this is the identical state of what is on the card. This is the one it's going to write to it, 1ACD. Um, yeah, but the um, this is, yes, the same one here. Yeah, I just see that now. But um, I, I, I mean, when you, when you, if I save this one right here, if I save this tile right here, it's going to, when I make a different transaction, this is going to, let me, let me see if I can save this right here. I'm going to save this again. I won't call it edited, but um, All right, it has that one. That is the um, one A C E and then one A C D. So A B C D E. Um, oh, oh, would you see this one? Okay, cause this one they have the main version. You see, I just can't understand this man. Look, yeah, one A C D one. A C A B C D E. So the one in blue would be at actual state. Then the one would be target. But I don't have this folder on, on, on the system. I don't have it. I don't know. I, the, the, that file is it's gonna fail again if I make a transaction list and um and I make the transaction list off of the sol where I did not click other ID from SVT actual. Um it's gonna come up with the same um issue again it's gonna come up with the same same fucking thing i'm gonna try again i'm gonna make a tile and i'm gonna call it okay and call it this one i have to remove this oh shit. order l One A One A C D One A C D blah blah blah. All right, so This is the actual state of the file on the car, one AC, and I'm going to try to write this on it. So let us see what played out. Oh, gosh. 
what another portion hardware the install Let me see what played out here. Bootload of software deploy, blah blah blah. <laughs> Let us click start. Let us see what is gonna play. Do you want to back up invalid data? This contain the same hardware and then anybody will be back. So if you want to program no. If you want to program our code, please de select blah 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 blah. I just hate this sometimes, man. Bullshit. Bootload of flash. Let me go and see. Um, can you check if terminal 15 is on? As the light in the cluster is on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, it's cool. On. Okay, let us wait and see if we're going to come up with the SVK not matching expected control unit description model IDs. Because the expected are one that's supposed to be on the hard drive, on the laptop, in the data folder. And the, um, oh, there it goes again. SVK system installation, the actual system installation identifier does not match expected control unit description model IDs for ECU. All right, then, because we're going to tell you that the actual file, see, it's failing when we don't click hardware IDs from SVT actual. When we don't click that one as a part of the sol, the transaction list will go forward with what the, the, the native sol calculates. Because the sol calculates what file must be overwrite, overwriting the other file. So this one finished with warning. Okay, tell it in access to finish. All right, cool. Let me clear log. All right, let me look at what files they said is required. I just can't make, let me see if I can maximize this on the screen. All right, he said a file that is missing. He said this one is missing here. One ACD. Yes, I do not have this on, um, on, my, on your hard drive. I do not have these files myself. I, did not, I do not have these directories. I'm meeting the BMW people in the dealership are the ones at the factory have these folders. And I asked persons who are my friends and they said, well, if you get this problem, that simply means that they, they say that the eye level don't match, but the eye level, the eye level shipment matched because it's 1603502, like what is in here, 1603502. And that's what I selected. And that is what I selected right here. 1603502. I click complete flash. And the latest target is this. Let me click this and then I'll make over a new transaction list. Let me click that. Let me go back to our earlier build. Sorry, um, let me go back to our earlier I step target and let me see what played out. And then when I will um I will calculate Sol again and then well, well, I'm saying we don't have the information, right? We don't have the, the, no, 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 the, no, 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 um, -E yeah, we do not have that inside the data folder. And, um, I'm trying to find out if I'm missing something in the packages that I should have on my system because I program BMW 2 with ECS. But when I'm programming a control module, I use over the actual ID that the meaning that the files that is already written to the control unit on the car. When we when when ESIS is used to read out those, we can you know we read them out as hardware IDs from SVT actual because those are the IDs. The naming of the file is called by first the process class, which will be the name of the file. It, be, it, may, it could be bootloader or the coding file, and then the next thing that comes is the ID, which is represented by those zeros and then the numbers. And then next thing will be the main version. The next thing will be the subversion, and the other one will be the patch level. So we have basically five tier of the naming of the SGBM files. Those are what they call the control unit description model. The one expected are the ones in red. They're supposed to be on the machine in the in the hardware element folder. But that hardware element folder is not on the 
C drive and the data folder. So that's the reason why we come up with that SVK stuff. And uh, let me go back down to the bottom and look and take a peek again. Okay, they said this one here, the hardware difference is an hardware difference. All right, there's an hardware difference. So same fucking thing come up. So I can't, it, it's going to give me the same problem. It's going to look for this file here in this folder. So to go forward, I have to click hardware IDs from SVT actual. To, um, to go forward with this big, 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 big daddy here. So, this is the same thing is going to be written on the control module over, but you know, it's going to cause us only to do coding. And uh, one ACA is all written there. These are the actual state of the files. And the end light is not turning on. I don't know what the fuck is causing that. I'm very much not sure in what is causing it because the end light, the, the I beam for the for the right, it comes on, right? Yeah. All right, the only one for the left, the new control model you purchase, it doesn't come on. Oh, man. No. Shit. One seven e software flash, the same one ACED. This one was one ACE. What the new one you purchased? So Didn't we, we program it the last time, bro? That means the one that you put there is not new, it's used. It's new. Brand new from the dealer. Brand new from the dealer? Yeah, brand new from me and the dealer. All right, since you say so, then. Oh, whoo. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, there's ID from SVT at all. I don't know. I mean, I just. How we can do? How what we can do to get the uh, HWEL? What can you do? Yeah, what we can do to get that one? Oh, we'd have to find a source in Europe who have it and then gave it to us. And then, I mean, I don't have any sources yet. I don't. I'm seeking for it, but I'm not getting any answers from anybody. You know what I mean? I'm not getting any answers from anyone. People have it, but. You know, it just you're just not getting it from anybody because it's just not it's not the easiest shit to if get. We, if we can we when we pay B and W and do the login and, and get it. Uh repeat, sir. Can we program in this with a uh, with a uh, with the ISTA? Yes, it can program with ISTA, but ISTA gonna come up and tell you to remove this and that hardware. And then when you put the hardware there, the hardware numbers are seen as new, and then it goes through with the execution of the plan. So there's a problem with ISTA D. They write it fucked up, so they forces you to change control module that they said, okay, change and blah, blah, blah. So that's the reason why, you know, we can't do what we want to do with it. You know, because those people, they, um, they change up what they want to change up. Easter D has an issue with it. All right, see that it include now the TMS forty one when I choose a different transaction list, but it yeah, have doesn't, only doesn't coding. Doesn't allow you because it's, it's going to be seeking the right software. No, the files are files are there. Software flash files are there. Bootloader is there, but those are basically actual from the, the control unit itself. But that's why I ask you if the control unit is brand new, you know. But um. Like I said, BMW writes something. It, it like should work right off, the, right out the bat. I mean, it's only coding is required. It's only coding that is required on the TMS one. You know, the one that you brought. Yeah, because if they if they're gonna sell you the module brand new and they're already gonna put bootloader flash files on it, and then the software def, deploy file is on it, and then the CD deploy file. No, if what? No, I I replaced I replaced many many computers like this one before, and they they coming without software. Okay, you buy brand new. Oh yeah, this is not the first one that I bought. I bought many one before. Okay, so they come with all these files on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh gosh, if I call this shit all over again, it's gonna look yeah, like. I, I have auto. I have auto hex and I have auto that I can do coding so easy and I don't need to do repeating. Yeah. But it's not only it's not only about um, the coding. It's the front software. And you see, it's, in, it's asking us to, to change the software because the software has to be different. Blue, finish it warning. 
Oh, green. The coding worked out successfully. So, if I go back here, let me uncheck that. If I run another tile list, All right, I keep software deploying, CD deploying, take a whole load of flash. Let me see if it's going to come back with the same SVK fuckery. Let me see if it's going to come back up with the same SVK crap. Oh yeah, it comes up back with the same thing. SVK IST actual system identifiers does not match expected control unit description model IDs for ECU GMS1. Okay. Whenever I use hardware actual, whenever I click whenever I use one of those SOL hardware IDs from SVT actual, it, it only gave me the option to code only. The same ECU yeah. because it assumed that the ECU has already flashed or already have the software deploy, the, um, deploy file on it. So that's the reason why we're stuck in this fucking place right here. Shit. Let me clear this log shit. Oh gosh. Okay. If so, if I um, let me let me apply the coding only. Let me see what played out. Let me see what played out. Oh, same thing. Okay, it said TMS Ethernet severity error. All right, check if the, yeah. the ter terminal 15 is on. Yeah. It's on. Terminal 15 is on. Glad it's in the cluster. Okay. Same thing here. Control unit SVK. All right, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. I'm going to choose a different tau. Choose one that has this. And, um, oops, I chose the wrong one. Boom, 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 boom. Only coding. Software deploy grayed out, gone or shit. So, oh man. Wow. What a trial, man. All right, all of these problems we have here, all of these problems with the software, I know the software designers write it to write, all these other element fuckery, it's all based off of fucking money and that they want people to always buy fucking control models and then they make the thing because of that purpose and so on. I mean, I can't complain, but... Man, I tell you, I just don't know what to do next from here because I can't do the same fucking thing all the time. So we can now get the 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 new uh T V uh H W E L. Yeah, that's the big thing right now. I mean I have to find a source in Europe, man. I'm asking for it a long time, but I just don't know. Who can we can we copy and paste the same one? No, it can no it uh, no 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 you can't copy and paste it you know, because the files are already installed on the on on both um control modules, but this file right here We can find this file in it. It's not hard to find it. But we don't have any other element folder. No. This file here. 
they are not saved in the folder. They you are not saved. You, you, can, you cannot read that one and save it? it no, no, no. Listen. You cannot. It's not. No, I, 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 I know what you mean, but I, so you cannot read it and save it. We can't read it. There's no folder there for it. If you look, you, can, you have to see the folder for it. You have to see a HWEL and so on. It's only the, the CAF files, the coding application file can be read. If we go up to the top here, if we go up, if we go all the way up to, um, if we go expert mode, we go coding, we read out this one. Read VCM. I have to say click activate FA. Okay, what we can do right now is to um this 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 folder right here is gonna be populated if we click on the SVT actual and recoding data. The recoding data of all the control models on the car. You guys start to drop that one already. That's the only thing we can read yeah, out. Yeah, that's the only thing we can read out. N C D and deploy the folders and so on. De de yeah, de deploy those files and so on from the different control module. So that's the only thing I can do, man. I can't really copy the file from the HWEL. I don't know how they do that. If it ever could be done or done before by someone, I have to really read upon that one to figure it out how they do it. So that's what I'm afraid of. I just don't know. Um, all right, let me save this one here. Um, let me see if I can um, go back here. We call these actual SVK for SVK or SVT? No, no, no. SVK means system, SVK stands for System Installation Identifiers. So it is alluding to the process class. And what I will call this process class, process class will be CAFD okay and they are called otherwise dot ncds you know that's what the extension are called you know netto the ncd stand for netto code your data or netto netto code your file you know so i save it as that and um maybe i should save another one um let me look if it's there oh here's it right here but let me save another one i want to call this one Yeah, it's supposed to be saved with a text. Here's it. Let me see if I can read this out with um. No. I, what I want to do, I compare the different the name the name of the file which belongs to each control model. So you know, I just don't save any anything. I just basically want to look at the name of the coding file for the TMS for one. This, this will be this one here. But we don't have a coding issue here. 1082. That would be it, and the other one will be here. Um, 1083. See that? So they have different names. Yeah. For both of them, so I think their names are different for a reason. Are they other calling the SGBMDs? Are they calling control unit description model IDs? So I can't do nothing much right now. I mean, there's something that I need on the computer, and um, you know, we don't have all the things that BMW people have there. You know, we don't have everything. So okay, so let me let me. Uh... In this case, let me check with. Uh, uh, what do you say? Um, I'm going to uh, see what I uh, what I can uh, do with this people. What are you gonna because, do? Uh, well, so you say you we cannot get that inform the information we need. So oh, you're gonna to you're gonna try and find it. You're gonna try and hunt it down? Can you repeat that again? You're gonna try and get the files, the HWEL? Uh, you say we need to wait, right? No, I'm asking you what you're gonna do. What are you gonna do? I'm just asking you what you're gonna do because you said you're gonna oh. do something. No, I am going to see with the customer, but uh, we don't have the information, nothing I can do. So what are you gonna do, tell the customer? Oh, hey, 
light. Mm -hmm. So okay, I see. So it have, maybe have to be forced to bring it to the dealership for them to get that working for him. Hmm. How the dealer is going to fix that problem? How are they going to fix it? Oh, they know. They have everything which we don't have. They have everything which we don't have. Yeah. They have certain things which we do not have. Hardware difference. You say when you're doing that with the um Ah, oh, repeat. With the Ista, you cannot do right? Yeah, Ista can program the car, yes. Um but it you, what whatever it tells you to do, you have to do it. If you have to replace control module, you have to replace control module and then again. Ista is a they they write it a certain way so it forces you to do its will, you know? So it's all about money and shit, so so you know, I don't know so what you say Uh, repeat, sir. Yes, it can be fixed with ISTA D, but it's just that ISTA D is telling you to replace control module all over the time, all the time. You know what I mean? How, how can that happen with this computer from the dealer? So why that happen when we get a brand new computer from the dealer? On your computer. I showed you before. Let me show you something. Nothing is wrong with the Edli computer. Is it Ista D has to fix the module? Ista D can fix the module, yes. Nothing is wrong. Hello? Yeah, I'm hearing you, man. Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Oh. Hang up. Yeah, Sergio, what up, man? Hello? Yeah. You say nothing is wrong with the computer, right? Yeah, nothing is wrong with the computer, man. It's just that we need to write the new IDs. There's new ID file that it has to be written to the car, but we do not have that folder called HWEL, Audrey Element. We do not have that on your laptop on C drive. If you look on the C drive right there in the SWE, in the software yeah, yeah, units. I know. Yeah, I know, I know. We do. So, so with the ISTA D we cannot fix that problem, right? Yes, ISTA D can program the car, yes, but it's gonna tell you to replace this and that control module. Okay? You want us to run it and try again? No, no, I don't want to, but why why um why is that happening when, when we get a brand new computer? Because BMW put different order IDs, I mean it just complicated to explain man it's just complicated to explain you know i don't want to explain it and it become too difficult a, a thing to explain you know it's just difficult it's just a money game bro just a money game okay just a money game for them it's just a money game all right it's just a money game all about money all right so they set up things a difficult way so that they fight out third party garages that can work on the car and also di wires you know so it's a, they're just Forcing you to buy shit from them. If you should do something on your own, it has to benefit them. So it's all about that. Is behind the mentality of them, you know, writing the software. Are certain things where the dealership will have certain specialized capability, where others who are third-party market people are DIYers. They can have the same. So you have to find somebody who have all the files, system, you know. You have to, all right, all right, these two folders are not there on our system. Um, this one that says hardware up right here, a HWAP and HWEL, okay? Those are not on our file system. And if we go down to the edu unit too, and look, let me see if I can go to the edu unit. Um, let me see, this is the edu unit, that's a bunch of flash files. We do not have this and so on. Let me check, let me check what we have. Yes, we have. Um, we do not have three things. I noticed. We do not have. We do not. We do not have HWAP and HWEL and 
NAVD. You see that? We don't have those files yeah. where we have the latest target level inside of those folders. And then ESIS will go ahead and pull those files and write it to the control module. Because anything in red, meaning that that's the file that is on the C drive that must be written to the car. That's what. That's why they are in red. It means target state. Those files must be on your C drive. And then ESIS yeah, copy them. So when we, got the, when, we, when we bought the ESIS from the guy from uh, uh, England, he didn't give us those file, maybe he no, 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 he doesn't give PSDZ data, no, what he sell actually is the activation okay. Okay. for the pro account, so that we can do coding and so on, uh, okay, but um, the, the PSDZ data, I copied it from ISTD and pasted it in ESIS folder, it works the same, the same thing they use, you know, but um, I, 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 I want to find out if, um, if the dealership people, if they have the NAVD files, on the HWEL and the HWAP files on their uh, uh, computers. I want to know it. If they don't, that means BMW give them access to it from their servers. It's controlled. See, you understand the reason why? Yeah, so yeah, when you put yeah. a dealership, if the guy bring, if the customer right now bring that car to the dealership, they will flash it with the new target level. That what we see there as A1CD or yeah, A1CE. Yeah, they will flash it. And it will work because they get they get access to those files. But the dealership might not have them on those on their local C drive, and that's what what that's what I want to really find out. And then I know that BMW is really fucking around with us and screwing us, you know. So, so that is the reason why we we have these um things right. You have to find somebody who's working at the dealership or who, who do diagnosis there, and then we find out. Tell them to look on their file system there. If uh, tell them to take a picture of it with their phone and then send it to you. Or if I know somebody, I tell them to do it for me that way, and then I can um find out if they have those files there and then I can tell if it's not there that means remotely controlled by BMW um wherever it is in Germany wherever they, they have their servers where you know the, the, the back end processing of the dealership connects to that and they download those files and then the cars are programmed with a new um iTarget that has the latest um um software IDs you understand what I'm saying right yeah 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 so my question is if we do uh uh if we can we do this uh, online or not? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to try and test it out. I don't know if they allow ESIS online for people. I'm, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I'm really not certain here. You know, I it just, I, I'm not certain. I'm not really certain, you know. Because if I can, if not, I pay the login and try, you know. Okay. All right. I don't know it's going to give me the same error of uh, we are having, we need to replace the computer. Um, I don't know, man. I just don't know, bro. I just, I can't tell, bro. I just don't know. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can use Gateway. Let me see if I can connect using Gateway URL. Wait. Oh, shit. It's not going to connect. The, the IP changes. It should have been 6. 192.68.1.100. I click on the wrong fuck. I want to connect by a gateway URL, but the IP address is different. It's, it should be 192. There it goes. It should be. Um... Okay. Um... Let me know. Uh... Yeah, just wait, man. We're still going up. You know? Just wait, just wait, just wait. I have a customer on my office that I need to go and talk with him. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Talk, talk to the person. Yeah, go ahead. Talk. Yeah, you can go talk to him. Yeah, man. Talk. Okay. You can hang okay, up on him. I'll call you back now. All right, buddy. Cool. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, all right, cool. It doesn't connect on that gateway URL shit. It doesn't connect on gateway URL, man. It's a piece of does not connect on gateway or connect right here. Connect there. Fucking read this thing. Why do I think of that?
Alrighty then, so we can click that single, single flash. Let me try that. Woody, 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 woody. Probably gone one hour now. One hour. Oh damn! I did not click. I did not read. Oh yes, I did. I did. I did. I just didn't save it. I have to save. Oh man, I'm tired of these works, man. I wanna go to the and take a break from this. I am hungry. Need something to eat, man. Let anything up. Waste my fucking time. All right, we're gonna close up the connection here. All righty then. Connect, disconnect this, and um, unreserve that. Oh, it's the these are running. Shit. Woo I think I need click. What the hell? See that fucking them that is stinking also. Alright man, I gotta Alright buddy, I gotta um end this tutorial here. One hour over one hour now. So alright YouTubers, thanks for viewing, but you know the IB need to be activated, but the control model has flash files in it and coding, so somehow it's not you know turning on the I beam for the HTML left headlight. Okay, YouTubers, goodbye. Have a nice day.